it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I'm going to be planning the week of July 6th in my memory planner. This is an R Estelle A5 wide cloud planner and I do have a full setup for this link down in the description below and I am going to be using this safari kit from Paper Muse Crafts. It is so cute and summery and I just really really love this. Um, it's got split bottom washi and some this is all foiled and I think this is like one set. No that's is that washi? No one set of pattern headers really cute with some flags um of this whole functional page and then this is washi and this kind of sidebar and um, page with also with some circles and date covers etc so i am just going to pull out these pages and jump in so this was a super slow week. Like I only wrote down maybe a third of what I usually write down. So I did actually try and space things out in this spread a little bit more. And it's very m much more white space than I usually plan. Uh, and I think it looks so nice with like the light pinks and mints and like the dark brown with the extra white space. I don't know. I just really think it looks super nice with that. Um, I use date dots from Harriet Wright Designs. I love these. They have like the cute little bow on the edge. And then I mixed the one pattern header from the kit with simply gold, simply golded, simply gilded gold foil headers that I have. Um, I wish I had like one other color that matched so I could just have done one gold, but I do think it looks nice even with the two golds and I didn't have like another color that kind of matches this as nicely. I definitely want to get like, I'm trying to buy less simply gilded washi because I feel like I have so much, but I would make exceptions for, I mean, I make exceptions for anything I think is pretty, but I would definitely make more exceptions for the, the bow headers. Um, I really love them and I've been using them a lot lately and getting like a lot of mileage out of them. But yeah, anyway, I love this kit from Paper Muse Crafts. It is not the kit that I intended to use this week. Um, I actually had a Panda Bird Designs kit picked out for this week. And when I started putting it down, I accidentally put it on the week after this. Um, and I did the whole like pre-planning part of the spread, like all the full boxes and everything um, and the washi and then realized I was on the wrong week and I didn't want to pull up all the stickers and I didn't want to like have to pa tape pages together or whatever. So I went ahead and just left that for the week ahead. So that'll be my next memory spread after this one. Um, and then I just ended up pulling this one in here. I do think this is super gorgeous and I'm glad it worked out like this, even though I wanted to use a really beach kit, a beachy kit for the week after this, which I didn't get to do because I had used like the Panda Bird Design Summer Kit instead. Um, and that next week was the first week we went to the beach. But anyway, this worked out well because I do think this is like really cute and summery and it's a little bit different of a vibe than I usually go for for summer. I'm not like super into animal print, but I did think this was like really lovely and I actually went through like a little bit of an animal print uh, kit buying thing and I bought like a couple of different ones. I have like a two little bees one and like a mini kit for in my personal wide planner too. So some leopard print or whatever cheetah print coming etc um then i you decided to use one of these little checklists because i really wanted to use the extra full box uh that was like this dark brown one and i didn't i wasn't going to be able to write on that so i just left myself a small journaling space um I just thought that it would help balance out the spread to have that like dark brown down there and I really really tried to be very careful with where I put like the dark brown elements in this so that it would be like a very a balanced spread sometimes it's so hard when it's like all when a kid is like all light colors with one really dark color and you just like want to kind of try and figure out how that how to incorporate that color all around but I, th I think the full box on the bottom there does really balance it out and this is a memory spread I don't need anything on the sidebar it's just you know like extra memory keeping space but anyway on the day by day on Monday I did my regular work thing and then I was trying to figure out how to I accidentally put the heart down um, on this one and I meant to put like the the little onesie that I'm going to put down, but I couldn't get it up. So I just decided to go with it. Basically my baby got her first tooth. I noticed it Monday morning. Um, and she still like only has one that's popped through. And the second one is like still, I'm guessing coming hopefully. Um, but she's been like a little miserable with teething, but anyway, so she got her first tooth and my mom came over, not because I needed help for work. She actually came over in the afternoon because I got my hair cut and I actually had, um, it's like a 
friend of my mom's um, from the salon, but it's the person who usually cuts my hair, but she came to my house. Um, We wore masks. She's not seeing a ton of people, just a couple people. Um, And I felt way more comfortable with this than like going to a salon. And it was like very, she like has her thing down. It's really well. It felt pretty secure to me. Although, I mean, honestly, with any of this stuff, who knows how secure it is? It's all like what you're thinking. But anyway, I got my hair cut and I haven't had my hair cut since before the baby was born. And it felt so good. My hair was like so heavy. I honestly couldn't even wear it down and it was just like it was so uncomfortable I have really really thick hair and I needed like a a big haircut and also like all of my thinning out done I just have such thick hair anyway it felt amazing it feels so good to have my hair cut I feel like I can I'm not like constantly getting a headache from it anymore and all of that stuff so anyway that was really exciting and then I just read that evening on Tuesday I went for a walk um I did some filming and um I just had to do some work on some house and tax stuff uh so I marked that down and then I listened to a bunch of podcasts that day so I just marked that as well um my favorite podcast I will tell you is the 538 politics podcast I always listen to that and then other than that I listen to a couple of different things for comedy I like comedy bang bang the best um and I really like uh stuff like cereal and and things like that so I listen to that a lot but like the 538 politics podcast is probably the only thing I listen to regularly and then I was watching tv that night um mostly Teen Wolf which I have been like binging in between when we've been watching actual shows and it's really horrible but so entertaining and I love it um on Wednesday I went for another walk I had like a work call I did some reading and then we had a taco night so I just decided to mark that I really had like nothing going on this week um and then I watched some more Teen Wolf uh like I said it's just like it's so bad and like the acting is like really bad but it's so enjoyable I don't know I love it um and it's like you can watch it and then not watch it for a little while and pick it up again so like when we have nothing going on and I just feel like like tv wise and I feel like watching something I'll watch Teen Wolf um so yeah and then on Thursday um what happened on Thursday Oh, I went to the playground and I'm using one of these really gorgeous Crafts by Towie uh, little playground doodles. They are so cute. Um, I'm using all foil stickers this week. Obviously, I didn't pull in any character or doodle stickers, um, just foil stickers. And then I got a Poke Bowl for lunch, decided to treat myself. I got Poke Bowl delivery. So delicious. And then that afternoon, before I picked my daughter up from camp, we stopped by the library. You can just like pull the car and right in the front and they leave your books outside for you so I picked up library new library books which was really exciting except for they actually ended up this was like a really bad string of library books that I got um and I still have one of them which I have not finished and I probably won't I'm just gonna I've been like reading it really slowly but it's pretty awful um so I probably will dnf that but anyway I picked up library books then um and then I worked on some more house stuff um you're gonna see a lot more house stuff coming soon because we actually just finally picked a contractor we're starting like the permitting process all that exciting stuff design all that stuff so anyway um more house stuff coming hopefully soon please fingers crossed soon and then i just watched tv that night um on friday i cut my son's hair uh i don't I like was just feeling inspired to do it his hair was so out of control and his head was sweating so much he's kind of a sweaty kid um I feel like some kids are just sweaty kids and some kids like aren't and my oldest is like not she's like never gets that hot or anything but my son is like such a sweaty kid anyway um so I cut his hair and I just like bribed him with some Elmo and he uh he I got him to sit still for it and it, it looks pretty good and then we baked challah which was really fun which is like um a bread if you don't know what challah is it's a delicious eggy bread um and then I did some filming that day and I decided to use that other checklist and one of these carts by Crafts by Tally. I always want to use these carts and I never have space for them and I was like oh there's nothing going on here so you can use that and then that night we watched Palm Springs which is like a Groundhog Day style movie on Hulu that is with Andy Samberg and it's phenomenal like so funny I don't remember the last time I enjoyed like a comedy movie that much so definitely watch it if you haven't seen it anyway on Saturday I was really tired Uh, I probably slept really badly I'm sure I did and then we went to Starbucks and for some reason I marked that with an egg Um, and then we got pizza for lunch and uh, we spent the day at my 
at my dad's house and I just did some reading and hung out and was just really tired. I actually remember feeling like so tired I was sick. Like I like, you know, when you're like so tired, you have like a little bit of a stomach ache. That's how I felt that day. And then on Sunday, I finished uh, Speak No Evil, which was just okay. It was like a YA library book. I didn't love it. Um, And that was like the first of those library books that I finished. My husband went grocery shopping and um, we we went to the new house and did a little bit more work on some of the tree that had fallen down. We had like cut my husband and my brother-in-law had cut it all down the week before and they kind of like piled a bunch of the branches. So we were then like bagging some of that stuff and we did it with the kids. It was kind of fun. Um, and I got like a really bad migraine that day. I think probably from not drinking water uh, and then being outside. And I don't get migraines a lot, not at least not anymore. I used to get them a ton, but um, it was a really, really bad one. So I ended up like taking a nap and just like really chilling out in the afternoon because my head hurt so badly. And then that night I was feeling better and I just watched a little bit more Teen Wolf. Um, and yeah, and that is everything. So I am filling this out and doing the foil scripts at the same time. That's been working pretty well for me lately. Uh, and this pen had like the nib is like pressed in a little bit. So it was really hard to stay neat, but I was doing my best. Um, I, I ordered some new Pigma Migrants too. So hopefully I can get back to that. And I want to like, you know, try and play with my handwriting a little bit and, and have some fun with that. But yeah, I am just filling this all out. And then I think I actually do a little bit of the uh, there's like almost no washi and deco that I use this week because I decided to keep things a little bit more white space since I had marked, like, since I just wrote down so much less and this was kind of like a boring week. Okay, that is everything all filled out. I do think this looks so pretty. It's not as busy as my usual spreads, but with like the bolder kind of browns and mixed in, I think that looks so nice and I just am absolutely in love with this. I love, love this Paper Muse Craft format as well. Um, so let me give that a nice little wiggle for you with all that gorgeous gold foil. And I did all of my writing this week in a Pigma Micron 03, which is my preferred fine liner. I did find a few more of those in my stash. And then let me show you what I have left. I didn't really use the deco. I haven't been super into like deco lately. I don't know why, um, but I did use like almost all of the functional stuff, just a little bit of washi left um, and one little teeny tiny box there. And then one of these circles and some of these icons, which I I probably will go ahead and save a lot of this stuff for my personal wide ring bound planner because this is all nice stuff to have in there and these arrows as well. But anyway, that is everything. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at mycraftyplans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye.